Hi, I'm Brian with ericsontutoring.blogspot.com and today we are going to define a behavioral adaptation. First of all, it's important to understand that adaptations in general are traits that increase, increase an organism's uh, fitness, which means their ability to reproduce or the relative ability to reproduce and uh, produce more offspring than other members of their same uh, species. Um, because their fitness is increased, um, this leads to uh, the trait being favored by natural selection and over a course of time, um, this adaptation um, is selected for by positive selective pressure. Um, so now, there's two main types of adaptations. There's structural adaptations, which simply means um, adaptations to the actual physical makeup of an organism. Um, and then there's also behavioral adaptations, which is what we're interested in right now. Behavioral ad adaptations are simply um, traits that are passed down um, that are ways that an animal does what it does, how it survives, and how it goes about its daily life. Um, so a couple of examples really start to solidify this concept. Um, if you think about a snowy egret, it's a type of bird, it's white, but it has these golden toes. And what it does is it may dabble those toes in the water, um, or it, and that can attract fish that see this, this gleaming light. Um, they may also, if they're not having very much luck, they might spread their wings and create a patch of shade, which also attracts fish. This behavior is favored because it helps the snowy egret catch more food. Um, another example is that cormorants, another type of bird, um, are diving birds, so they like to, they need to swim underwater to catch their food. Um, so they don't have a whole lot of oil, um, so that their wings, so that their feathers get wet and they're able to stay down easier. Um, the problem with this is that a cormorant, once it wants to fly, its, its wings are saturated with water, so they have to end up standing out in the sun to let their wings dry before they really are able to fly off too far. Um, one last example of a behavioral adaptation are zebras. Zebras, as you probably know, have a bunch of stripes, um, but the stripes don't really do anything unless zebras in, exhibit a behavior. Zebras stand in groups, and these stripes all of a sudden make it really difficult to figure out where one zebra starts and the next one ends. This has been a discussion of behavioral adaptations.